What is scope? Hey, it's Oshan Marshall, developer and consultant here at Secure Ideas, bringing you another Knowledge Center article, this time on scoping. So what is scope anyway? Well, the scope is the sum of all the boundaries of an engagement. This includes items specifically included and excluded from that engagement. When we say that something is out of scope, we generally mean that it's not allowed to be tested. Many people will say, well, no attacker will limit themselves to a specific scope. But we are professionals. We are engineers and artists in our craft, and all effective work demands limitations. Plus, you have to look at it from a business perspective. Why would I pay people to hack me? Well, you can't tell if your security works unless it has been tested or put under live fire. What penetration testing offers is so a trusted party to stand in for an attack. This is similar to how the military and other organizations do war games. However, you can't test everything at once, and this is where scope comes in. Of course, there is a right way and a wrong way to do scope. A well-scoped engagement allows for granularity, is cost-effective, and it grants security teams focus they need to resolve specific issues within the organization. Now let's use a NetSec example. Now, most organizations have an external and an internal network test as separate engagements. Usually, if you're having an internal engagement, you have the following question. What happens if an employee's workstation is compromised? Versus an external penetration test, which would answer another question. Is it trivial for an attacker to get in from the outside? Now, if you're talking about the immediate levels of risks and improving the security posture as quickly as possible, you want answers to the second question before you would want answers to the first. Like anything, organizations can abuse scope and turn Turn what could have been a good engagement into a compliance checkbox or a way to ignore systemic issues within your organization. I'll give you some examples. If you schedule a web application penetration test and then you exclude the login page from the scope, you're leaving a huge blind spot in the authentication mechanisms for that web application. Likewise, if you're on an internal network test and you exclude Active Directory from scope, you're leaving a huge gap and a huge blind spot there as well. All in all, good scoping allows for more effective tests. It adds value to the engagement by providing a precise and cost-effective way to introduce granularity, cost savings, and focus throughout an engagement. Bad scoping can ruin what could be an effective engagement. And of course, scope is the combination of what is and what is not allowed within the engagement. If you have more questions on penetration testing or cybersecurity in general, check out our Knowledge Center at secureideas.com. Subscribe and stay tuned for more security videos. Wait. Before you go, do you want Neville's severed head? We offer this decapitated devil along with other conference quality swag over for our mystery challenge winners. All you have to do is follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, or Twitter and answer the mystery challenge question. That's it. You send out the questions on Friday and we announce winners and send prizes every Monday. As always, thanks for watching.